31-5 against, uh, th sorry, 31-15 against Plymouth earlier on the season, back in the November. How do you see this one unfolding on Saturday? Yeah, it would have been nice if it was five points conceded, <laughs> not the 15. Uh, I was disappointed with the first 20 minutes of that, and I've just touched on that in a presentation this morning on what they can pose if we give them a, an early start and an early taste of a little bit of momentum. Uh, that evening back here in November, we were guilty of maybe not turning up for the first 15 minutes and they posted some soft points, but uh, we've moved on from that. There's a stronger mindset within the group. Uh, we're certainly the meanest defence uh, in most leagues throughout Europe, not only uh, in, in England, so we're certainly doing things well. And, and what's pleasing for me is defence coach, the boys have bought into it and they're really working hard for each other. And how are things looking on the injury front ahead of the match? Could we see a similar side that started against Nottingham? Uh, this early stage, I dare say there will be one or two combinational changes. Uh, one or two will be forced and one or two just to give uh, maybe one or two players an opportunity to go out there and uh, show what they're about. I mean, worked very hard uh, on the fringes in recent weeks. Uh, unfortunately for us, Ryan Shortland's pulled up with a, a slight hamstring strain today and that'll be assessed with a view to making a late call this evening on whether or not he'll be available for the game at the weekend. But uh, the fortunate thing is we've got one or two quality players in the wings, uh, bad in the pun, but ready to step in if and when required. So uh, the squad's looking healthy apart from one or two minor uh, problems at the moment. Some good news off the pitch as well with uh, the news that Mike Blair's joining us at the end of the season. What can he bring to the club? Yeah, Mike's a quality, quality player. I had the good fortune of working with Mike as Scotland captain for the best part of four years when I was up there as international defence coach. And, He's a very knowledgeable player, uh, he doesn't say much but when he does he holds a dressing room and uh, he'll certainly be a great acquisition to this club and uh, I'm sure the Newcastle supporters will enjoy his style of play because he's very creative around the first three channels, got a great, great awareness of space and uh, he's got a great temperament and the fact that he's been in France for the last, I think it's two seasons, uh, maybe turn around 30 games, I think in those two seasons his, his body's going to be well repaired uh, with a view to obviously make an impact on the Premiership with uh, a group of fours that are going to give him a platform to play off. Mike's been described as a big name signing in some parts, can the fans expect to see similar quality signings at the end of the season, especially if the Falcons get promoted? Uh, this uh, this stage of the season, it's in terms of recruitment, obviously uh, Dean's out there at the moment, he's down Bristol this evening, he's travelling here, there and everywhere, uh, speaking to agents, meeting up with players. Uh, I just want to focus on what's happening over the next few weeks, looking at the bigger picture into the playoffs, and uh, we get the job done, and we uh, we get back to the uh, Premiership where we, we certainly want to be. Uh, I think the recruitment will take care of itself in terms of quality coming in, but uh, knowing Dean as I do, he'll, he'll not uh, be looking for anything but, but the best to bring here for the view of uh, obviously adding to what we've already got, but uh, certainly on proving uh, on recent seasons. So. The way in which you do that is to bring quality in, and that's what we're looking to do. Good to see Will Welsh and Sean Tomes commit their futures to the club as well. How important have they been to the club's success? In Will's case, he's been one of the most consistent performers. He's a great, great uh, professional, very meticulous in his preparation, very consistent with it, and off the back of that, he performs well week in and week out. And he's, let's not forget, he's only 22, 23 years of age, still a very young and up and coming player, but uh, he's got every opportunity to go step up to uh, another level with a view to obviously competing at the top level in the Premiership and uh, in Sean's case he was given an opportunity by uh, Dean in uh, maybe a third way through the season and to, to Sean's credit he's taken that opportunity he knows he's still got one or two areas to work on in his game and I'm always on his case in defence but uh, he's been uh, a more than useful acquisition to our squad and uh, when asked to do a job he stepped in and uh, performed, uh, performed admirably for us so uh, it all bodes well for the future. And some departures as well, just to, on the flip side, you've got Michael Mayhew leaving at the end of the season, James Hall going to Bristol as well, and Tyson and Tua Thua leaving too. Sum up their careers at the Falcons if you can, Graham. Uh, I've been working with them for only uh, eight months as it is to date. Uh, the three guys you've mentioned have all put in solid performances, and for whatever reason, uh, in Ty's case, he's decided to join one of the French clubs and I wish him all the best. It might suit him the fact that he's playing on a dry track each week and coming from Yorkshire, the weather down there is not the best, but it's certainly better than what it is up here <laughs> and all the North East. Uh, Falcon supporters won't uh, like me for that, but I'm only being honest. <laughs> and it, it's not always favourable for players of his style of play. Uh, 
the case of Mike Mayo, obviously he's had limited opportunities because of the, the performances of uh, Tomo and uh, Robbie Vickers. And, and that, that's just the way it is. He, he wants first team rugby and uh, he, he feels that he's going to get that elsewhere. And the same can be said of uh, Orly. So you, you can't really question that the boys wanted to leave. They're just ambitious and they want to play. But unfortunately for those guys in their particular position, the boys who are actually getting their opportunities ahead of them at this moment in time have been performing well so it's very difficult to keep everyone happy in a squad of 42 players and finally bni cup draw made earlier on this week bedford away we've avoided the two irish sides munster and leinster a's what are your thoughts on that draw yeah it's interesting i would have liked to add munster in the semis i've been mean, mm. working there for three years and uh, it'd be nice to meet them in the final uh, but uh, we've got bedford to get to uh, Get out of the way first and foremost. We travelled down there early season and got a good result. And there's no reason why we can't do that again uh, in, in the uh, the semi final. So they'll be looking to uh, make amends for that defeat and even more so for the defeat they uh, suffered here because, to be honest, they certainly deserve to win that game that evening. But uh, as I've said earlier on, uh, we found a winning way of uh, getting over the whitewash and uh, there's nothing more pleasing that evening. Than the character that the boys show and the belief that we've got within the squad at present, uh, they've, they've got this momentum, this belief to get them over the winning winning line at whatever cost. And there's no more case in point than that position position we were in in the last minute, leading to the Bedford fixture. So we're in a very good position at the moment. Momentum's going well, confidence is high. We've got an healthy squad. There's one or two minor uh, injuries, but that's what you get in contact sports, soft tissue situations. But uh, very much looking forward to the business end of the season and what we want to see against Bristol next week is a, a nice 5,000 plus uh, crowd and uh, giving the boys the full support they've, they've been giving us throughout this season because the support has been tremendous. Brilliant. Well, All right. You.